All right, so let's take a look at this mean value theorem example. So it says, for the function below, find the value or values of c that satisfy the mean value theorem on the given interval. Verify that all prerequisite conditions are met. Okay, so here we have our function h of x equals 6x minus x squared. And we're talking about on the interval from x is 1 to x is 4. All right, well, first things first. This is a quadratic um right here, which means that it's definitely going to be continuous on the interval and differentiable on the interval. Okay, there's no holes, there's no asymptotes or anything. So all our um, prerequisite con conditions are met here. So let's do what we have to next. So this says then h prime of c is going to equal f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So somewhere there's some c value where if you put it into the derivative, it's going to equal the slope. Okay, well, let's figure out what the slope would be. So what we're saying here is h prime of c is going to equal f of b. So it's going to be f of 4 minus f of 1 over 4 minus 1. Okay, well, let's go ahead and figure what that would be. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say f. We should really be doing h since our function is h here. Okay, so h of 4 minus h of 1. Okay, well, let's see what h of 4 would be. So h of 4 is going to be 6 times 4 minus uh, 4 squared. So that would be 24 minus 16, which would simply be 8. And then if we did h of 1, that's just going to be 6 times 1 minus uh, 1 squared. So that would just be 6 minus 1, which is just 5. So this then becomes 8 minus 5 over 4 minus 1. So that would be 8 minus 5 is 3, 4 minus 1 is 3. So we get 1. So we need h prime of c to equal 1. Okay, well, let's figure out what h prime of c is. What is the derivative of this? Okay, and you know what? Let's see this in a different color. So the derivative h prime of x would simply be just 6 minus 2x. Okay, well, I need to know where that's equal to 1. So we can go ahead and put that in here. And now we can go ahead and solve this. So I could just minus off 6 from both sides. So this would be negative 5 equals negative 2x. And simply divide by the negative 2. And we get that x is going to equal 5 over 2. So that is our c value. So c would be 5 over 2. At 2.5, we're going to get the slope equal to 1. And that is between this interval here from 1 to 4. And there you go. That's it.